We'll be looking at two types of dog breeds, the Havanese and the Bichon Frise. We'll be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at their physical characteristics, personality, training, and general care to keep them happy and smiling. Let's begin by looking at the Havanese. The Havanese are short-legged, small, and sturdy with a gentle expression. They are typically between 8 to 11 inches at the withers with a weight that can range from 7 to 13 pounds. The double coat of the Havanese has a soft undercoat and outer layer. The abundant outer coat is about 6 to 8 inches long and can be straight or curly. The curly coat type can be found in just about any color and is usually corded. The abundant coat of the Havanese is acceptable in all coat colors with white, fawn, red, cream brown, beige, orange, black, blue, chocolate, and silver being quite common. Easily recognizable with its bright, white fluffy coat. The Bichon Frise may be small, but it's a sturdy, strong little dog. They stand at about 9 to 11 inches tall and weigh 7 to 12 pounds. They are bright white in color, making their nose and eyes stand out as being the only thing with color. In some dogs, it is permissible for some cream coloring to break the all-white of the fur. This can occur near the ear area or anywhere on the body. The ears and the tail of this dog are left natural. Many owners do have the coats of the dogs trimmed in order to even out the length. Havanese are a gentle and affectionate breed that thrive on human companionship and can get very anxious when left alone. Highly adaptable to nearly any environment, Havanese are often described as being gentle, intelligent, playful, friendly, and obedient. They like to tear around the house or yard and will play for hours with anyone who has the patience and stamina to keep up with them. Even though they're small in stature, they're very sturdy and agile. They're also happy to settle on a lap, and anything is fine with a Havanese as long as it involves attention. Havanese are a very affectionate and intelligent breed that are quick to learn and like to please. Get it. Get it. They're a friendly, outgoing, and non-aggressive breed, and as a result, are often used as therapy and emotional support pets. <laughs> round in, round in. The Bichon Frise is well recognized for its bubbly, happy, and loving personality. It is often considered to be the perfect companion and lap dog for an individual or a family. With its happy-go-lucky attitude, the playful, vivacious, and bouncy Bichon dog delights everyone. It is good with kids and amicable towards pets, other dogs, and strangers. This affectionate, responsive, and sensitive dog also loves to play and be cuddled. And though the Bichon has a playful, independent streak, it doesn't mean they like to be alone. In fact, this breed hates being alone and commonly suffers from separation anxiety if left alone for many hours. In such situations, Bichons may become destructive, chewing and tearing up anything in sight. Due to their high level of intellect, these curious dogs love to observe what is going on around them and can be easily trained. Carrying a happy and easygoing demeanor, this little dog is intelligent and willing to learn, which makes them easy to train. They enjoy showing off and will even compete in agility, obedience, and can be trained as terrific therapy dogs. They are easy to train, but are sensitive to harsh vocal tones. They enjoy performing and are sturdier and tougher than they appear. Provide them with plenty of opportunities to play and entertain. Bichons have a reputation for being difficult to housebreak. In every other respect, however, they're very easy to train. Bichons love to perform tricks and learn new ones quickly, but they can be stubborn if you're trying to tell them where to do their business. They also often compete in agility and obedience competitions. Both the Havanese and Bichon are indoor dogs that should not be allowed to live outdoors. They may be small, but they require exercise daily, which can be easily fulfilled with a nice romp in the yard, a lively indoor game, or a short-leashed walk. Routine grooming is an absolute necessity for the Havanese dog breed. Brush your Havanese often, at least once or twice per week. 
As for the powder puff white coat of the Bichon, it requires combing as well as brushing on alternate days to keep it dirt free. It also needs trimming and scissoring once a month. Although the Bichon does not shed, its loose hairs tend to get knotted and may even mat in the coat. Both breeds are very loving, easygoing, and can be great companions for children. If you are thinking of getting one of these two breeds, know that you are in good hands picking either one. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this. And let us know what other breeds you would like to see side by side.